Hello, friends. I'm glad you're here. Every day is Earth Day, but on April 22nd, 2020, it's the 50th anniversary of a special day we celebrate to acknowledge the greatness of this planet. Do you know how Earth Day came about? Well, in the 1970s, we went to the moon. And when we were in outer space, we could turn back and look at the Earth, this beautiful globe of water and land and the clouds and the air around it. So we're going to celebrate Earth Day and we're going to look at all the different ways that we can get energy from the Earth, the water and the air. So let's begin with our la magic listening bells. Sit crisscross, nice and tall. You can close your eyes if that feels comfortable. And listen to the sound. You can maybe feel the sound and listen for the sound to end. We can make a sound a lot like that using our own voice. And this sound is the sound OM. It's a pretty simple sound, but it's said to contain all the sounds that there are. So when we say OM together, it tunes us into ourself and to our yoga practice. Let's take a deep breath in and breathe out and breathe in to make the sound OM. Since we're celebrating the earth, let's plug into the earth. Make a peace sign with your first two fingers extended and your second two fingers held down by your thumbs. And then turn those fingers down and touch the ground to plug into the earth. Notice how your body feels when you're plugged into the earth. Notice how your breath is moving in your body when you're plugged into the earth. And notice the quality of thoughts in your mind. You can plug into the earth anytime you want to feel stable, strong, and connected. Now, let's do the whole world mudra. So we're going to take the fingertips of one hand to touch the fingertips of the other hand with our palms nice and open like we're holding the globe in our hands. Again, notice how it feels in your body when you're holding your hands in this shape. These hand gestures are called mudras. And you can do them anytime. It's like a little yoga pose for your hands. Let's stand up and do the sun salutation. So salutation is a fancy way to say hello to the sun. So we want to recognize the sun and thank the sun for providing warmth and energy. So solar energy is one of the kinds of energy we can harness. So stand in mountain pose. Look down and make sure your feet are lined up like the number 11 or two train tracks. And then bring your hands together in front of your heart. Breathe in and sweep your arms open like you're a bird opening your wings. Breathe out and fold in half. Breathe in, put your hands on your shins and come halfway up. This is called the monkey pose. And then plant your hands and step both feet back into a straight, strong position called plank. Lower your whole body to the ground, forehead and tops of the feet rest on the floor. And then breathe in, lift your head and chest to be a snake. Turn your toes under, lift your hips up and back, and stretch the whole back side of your body like a dog. You can wag your tail, stretch your puppy paws. You can even bark if you'd like to. Woof, woof, woof. Step your feet forward to your hands. Breathe in, come halfway up with a long flat back to be a monkey, and then fold in half. Breathe in, sweep your arms out to the sides, lead with your heart and come all the way up to standing. Hands touch overhead and then bring your hands to your heart. Let's do that again. Breathe in, open your wings, breathe out, fold in half. Breathe in, put your hands on your shins, halfway up, monkey. Plant your hands and step back to plank, straight and strong. Lower all the way to the ground, forehead and tops of the feet on the floor. Breathe in, lift your head and chest, keep your shoulders away from your ears, snake. Stretch back into the dog pose, Woof, woof, woof. And then step up to your hands again. Halfway up, monkey. Fold. Breathe in. Reach out and up to come up. Hands to heart. Let's go a little bit faster. 
Breathe in, open your wings, breathe out, fold in half. Halfway up monkey, plant your hands, step back to plank. Lower all the way to the ground and then be a snake. Stretch back to dog. You can step up or look between your hands, bend your knees, knees and carefully jump both feet to your hands. Halfway up monkey, fold again, reach up high. Hands to heart. Let's go a little bit faster. Reach up, fold down, halfway up monkey, step back, plank, all the way down, snake, dog, roof, roof, roof. Step or jump to your hands, monkey, fold, reach up high, hands to heart. Let's go even faster. Reach up, fold down, halfway up, step back, all the way down, snake, dog, roof, roof. Step or jump, monkey, fold, reach up high, hands to heart. Wow, I can feel that solar energy in my body. Can you? Let's do one time with our breath. Breathe in and out. Halfway up, let your hands step back. Lower down, snakes. Stretch back, dog. Ruff, ruff, ruff. Step your hands to your, to your hands, halfway up. Fold again. Reach up high, hands to heart. There's some solar energy for you. Now, let's be just like the earth. We're going to stand in mountain pose. Plant your feet into the ground, right underneath your hips, just like your feet are two tracks on a train track or the number 11. Lean forward and feel some pressure in the front of your feet. Now, lean back and feel some pressure in the heels of your feet. Even out that pressure, so you're strong and sturdy like a mountain. Press down through your feet. Let the top of your head reach for the sky. I am a mountain. Now let's be a volcano. Jump your feet wide. Bring your fingertips together as you breathe in. And as you breathe out, you can explode your volcano. Let out anything you want to let out of your volcano. And jump your feet together. Let's be heroes for the earth. We're going to step our feet wide. Turn your toes out to one side. Your back leg is straight and strong. And your front knee is going to bend out right over your front heel like you're stacking two Lego blocks, the heel and the knee. Look down and see if your knee is too far out. You can scoot your foot forward. Make your arms straight and strong. And we are heroes for the earth. So you can say, I am brave. I am powerful. Let's do the other side. Straighten your leg, make your feet parallel, and jump your feet together. Now, jump your feet wide and turn the other toes out 90 degrees. And your back foot is pushing back a little bit. Back leg stays straight and strong. Front knee bends out over your front heel like two Lego blocks stacked one on top of the other. Move your foot if you need to and then reach your arms at shoulder height, stretch out in opposite directions. You are brave, you are strong, and so is the earth. We are heroes for the earth. Straighten your knee, make your feet parallel, and jump your feet together. It's time for tree. Lean onto your right foot and bring the bottom of your other foot to the inside of your leg so your knee is out to the side. Your leg is pressing into your foot and your foot is pressing into your leg. Bring your hands together in front of your heart and feel your roots growing into the earth. Thank you, earth. If you'd like to, you can let your branches grow, let your leaves flutter in the breeze. Let's try the other side. Bring your hands down and bring your foot down. Equal weight on both feet and then the other side. Remember, keep your foot away from your knee, either below your knee or above your knee. It's up to you. Leg into the foot foot into the leg to create that stability, hands together in front of your heart, roots growing into the earth. Let your branches grow if you like. Leaves flutter in the breeze. And then bring your hands down and bring your foot down. Now, if you have a friend or a family member, we can play a game called Wind in the Trees. But if it's just you, that's okay. You can do it as well. So solar energy is one way we can harness the energy from the earth. Another way is wind energy. So we're going to play Wind in the Trees. So one person is going to be a tree, and the other person is going to be the wind. So you can blow around the room, 
Be careful not to knock over the trees, and the trees practice holding steady in the wind. Okay, so if, you're, if it's just you, you can be the wind a little bit, and then be a tree, and if you have a brother or a friend, you can one person be the tree and the other person is the wind. And then change. So the person who was being the wind is now going to be a tree. And the person who was being a tree is now the wind. <gasps> wind energy. Now let's come down onto the ground into the crocodile pose. So lay on your tummy. Stack one hand on top of the other and turn your cheek to rest on your stacked hands. Having your belly spread out on the earth is a great way to feel relaxed and calm. As you breathe in, your belly spreads out on the floor. And as you breathe out, your whole body settles to earth. Let's try now to be heroes on the ground. So we're going to get into our superhero pose from here. Reach your arms out. Lift one arm and leg up off the ground with your head and chest. And then lift your other arm and its opposite leg up with your head and chest and back down. And now we're going to do all four at once. One, two, three. Arms, your head and chest, your legs. Superhero. You can even look behind you. Dun, da, da, da. Da, da, da. Legs and arms lifted, change arms. Superheroes protecting the earth. And rest that one hand on top of the other. Feel your breath in your belly and your belly spread out on the floor as you breathe in. Whole body relaxes as you breathe out. Press up onto all fours and come sitting up on your knees. So when we're protecting the earth, we also want to protect the animals that live on earth too, like the deer. So you're going to shift your hips off to the left side. So now I can see my right foot. I'm going to take my right foot and put it on the outside of my left thigh. And then I want to scooch my other foot away a little bit so both of my sit bones plug into the ground evenly. If that doesn't work, you can just straighten your bottom leg. Okay, so that's an option. I'm going to put my right hand behind me. I'm going to reach my left arm up. Hook your elbow to the outside of your leg and twist like a deer. Beautiful, quiet deer looking around in the woods. Turn and look all the way behind you. Feel that whole twist in your body. Quiet like a deer. Bring your head back to center. Keep your feet exactly where they are as you unwind your arms. We're going to do the change sides puzzle. You want to keep your feet basically where they are, and you're going to lift your hips up so your legs are crossed. You can only go in one direction, so turn your body, walking your hands around on the floor. Keep turning, keep turning, keep turning until your legs cross again. And then sit down, and you should be on the second side. And if you're not, that's okay. Just put your left foot on the outside of your right thigh. Take your left hand behind you. Reach your right arm up. We want to get long and then twist. Hook your elbow to the outside. You've got your deer antlers. And then with your soft deer eyes, you're going to look all the way around behind you, feeling a nice twist in your body. Breathe in, nice and tall. Breathe out, twist a little bit more. We want to protect the deer and the butterflies. So the bottom of our feet together. Bring your feet in close and get your fingers up for your antenna. You can flap all four butterfly wings. So we've got solar energy, we've got wind energy, we've got the power from the earth, and now let's look at hydro energy. That's energy from water. So bring your legs straight out in front of you. You're going to have your knees bent and your feet wide. You can lean back on your hands and we're going to make some waves. So drop both knees off to one side and then the other and go back and forth one side and then the next making waves. Come back to center. 
Straighten your legs out and sit up, and we're going to do boat on a river. Legs straight out in front of you, heels pressing away. Reach up high and fold forward into the river pose. Sit up, lift your heart, lift your legs, and paddle your boat. Straighten your legs along the floor, reach up out of your waist, and fold into the river pose. And then sit up tall, lift your heart, lift your legs, and paddle your boat. Breathe in, straighten your legs along the floor and reach up. Breathe out, fold into the river pose. Breathe in, lift your heart and your legs. Breathe out, paddle your boat. Straighten your legs if you want to challenge yourself. Breathe in, straighten your legs along the floor and reach up. Breathe out, fold into the river. Breathe in, lift your heart and your legs. Breathe out, paddle your boat. Let's do it one more time. Straighten your legs along the floor and reach up as you breathe in. Fold to the river as you breathe out. Lift your heart and legs. Paddle your boat. And then we're going to do the river and rest. So reach up and fold. Let your hands rest on the floor quietly next to you. You want to feel a comfortable stretch, but still be able to breathe and relax. So now we've explored hydro energy, and it's time to relax. We're going to lie back on the ground and hug your knees into your chest. And straighten your legs out on the floor with your feet slightly wide, palms up out away from the sides of your body. Let the weight of your body rest on the floor and feel your breath flowing in and out. In and out. And as your body is resting quietly on the floor, feel the parts of your body that are like the earth, bones and muscles, strong and stable like the earth. Become aware of the parts of your body that are flowing like water, blood and lymph, other fluids flowing like a river. And feel the power of the sun in your belly, the heat and light and the energy of the sun in your belly, the warmth of your whole body. Feel the air touching your skin and the air as you breathe in and out. And space. We had to go all the way to space to take a look at how beautiful our earth is. Feel the spaciousness within you and all around you as you let your body and mind relax completely. Feel your body on the floor and your breath in your body. Slowly wiggle your toes and fingers, roll your wrists and ankles. Turn your head side to side and then bend one knee and the other. Roll off onto your side and slowly, like a sloth, press yourself up to sitting. Cross your legs and sit tall. And we'll finish our yoga practice with the whole world mudra. So the fingertips of one hand touch the fingertips of the other hand. Palms are wide like you're holding the whole world in your hands. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. Close your eyes if that's comfortable for you. And let's sit quietly for one moment, feeling our breath and feeling our connection to earth.
You can bring your palms together in front of your heart. Om Shanti. Namaste. Thanks for joining us.